Meet Queen Saleha, the wonderful Queen of Brunei. She's not just a queen, she's like a royal superhero. Imagine a world where everything is fancy and she's at the center of it all. Today we're diving into her amazing life to discover what makes her the queen of all queens in Brunei. Get ready for a royal adventure filled with palaces, parties, and the incredible story of Queen Saleha, the one who adds sparkle to Brunei's royal crown. Queen Saleha of Brunei Queen Saleha of Brunei, born Penguran Anak Saleha on October 7, 1946, is a distinguished figure whose life weaves through the rich tapestry of Brunei's royal history. Her journey, from a humble birth in Kampong Sumbiling to becoming the esteemed queen consort, is a captivating narrative that reflects her grace, dedication, and contributions to both the royal family and the nation. Saleha was born in Kampong Sumbiling, Jalanistana Darussalam, Brunei town, during the era of the British Protectorate of Brunei. The daughter of Penguran Anak Muhammad Alam and Penguran Anak Besar, Saleha's upbringing was imbued with the essence of royalty. Her name Saleha, meaning pious or virtuous in Arabic, foreshadowed the qualities she would embody throughout her life. Her early education took place in the Surau Prayer Hall of Istana Darul Hana, where she received private tuition. Saleha also participated in religious classes, laying the foundation for her deep connection with Islam. Continuing her education, she attended Sekola Tinggi Perempuan Raja Isteri, Stipara in Bandar Seri Begawan until 1965. Saleha's pursuit of knowledge extended beyond Brunei's borders. She attended Signet's House, a finishing school for young ladies in South Kensington, SW7. Her time at Signet's House was shared with her sister-in-law, Princess Masna Bolkia, while Sultan Hassan al Bolkia and his brother were at Sandhurst, marking a period of shared experiences within the royal family. On July 29, 1965, Saleha embarked on a significant chapter in her life by marrying her paternal first cousin, Pengiran Mudamakota, Crown Prince Hassan al Bolkia. The union union took place at the Grand Istana Darul Hana. This marriage not only tied two individuals together, but also connected two prominent branches of the royal family, as Sultan's mother Raja Isteri Penguran Anak Damit and Saleha's father Penguran Anak Muhammad Alam were siblings. This union laid the foundation for a family that would play a crucial role in shaping the destiny of Brunei. Saleha and Sultan Hassan al Bolkia are blessed with two sons and four daughters, making them the nucleus of a royal lineage that spans generations. The Crown Prince al Muqtadi Billa is one of their sons. As a grandmother, Saleha is surrounded by the joy and laughter of 18 grandchildren, each contributing to the vibrancy of the royal family. The interconnected web of familial bonds intertwines with the broader context of Brunei's history, creating a narrative of continuity and legacy. Beyond her role as the queen consort, Saleha has dedicated herself to numerous social causes, serving as a patron to various organizations. Her patronage extends to the Women's Institute, WI, Pertiwi Association, Pakirti, the Girl Guides Association of Brunei Darussalam, Bistari, Brunei Government Senior Officers Wives Welfare Association, the Women Graduates Association, and the Brunei Shell Women Association. Her involvement in these organizations reflects a commitment to the welfare and development of women, children, and the broader community. Saleha's influence extends beyond the palace walls, touching the lives of Bruneians through these associations, creating a lasting impact on the nation's social fabric. While being a symbol of regality and grace, Queen Saleha is also an individual with personal passions and interests. A lover of nature, she has created a sanctuary within the palace grounds, boasting a fruit garden, a fish pond, and a bird park. These personal spaces mirror her connection to the environment and showcase a side of her that is deeply rooted in the appreciation of nature's beauty. Her hobbies include reading, a pursuit that undoubtedly contributes to her knowledge and understanding of the world. Additionally, Saleha engages in physical activities such as playing badminton, showcasing a commitment to a healthy and active lifestyle. Her fondness for traditional Bruneian games like Konkak and Pasang reflects a connection to the cultural heritage of Brunei. These simple yet culturally significant activities further emphasize her role as a guardian of Brunei's traditions and customs. Queen Saleha holds a position of great reverence and respect within Brunei, and her titles reflect the magnitude of her role, encapsulates her identity as the Queen Consort, and acknowledges her familial ties to Brunei's esteemed history. In the rich narrative of Brunei's royal history, Queen Saleha emerges as a beacon of dignity, compassion, and cultural preservation. From her humble beginnings in Kampong Sumbi, 
thrilling to the grandeur of Istana Darul Hana, her journey symbolizes the resilience and continuity of Brunei's royal heritage. Beyond the regal ceremonies and formal titles, Saleha stands as a symbol of social responsibility and community service. Her patronage to various organizations demonstrates a commitment to the well-being of Bruneians, especially women and children. As a grandmother, she nurtures the future generation, contributing to the legacy that will carry Brunei forward. In the heart of Southeast Asia, Queen Saleha's story unfolds, leaving an indelible mark on the nation she serves. Her life is a testament to the enduring strength of Brunei's monarchy and the grace with which she fulfills her role as the beloved Queen Consort. Unbelievable Tiara Collection Queen Saleha, the world's longest-serving queen consort, has a jewelry collection that is nothing short of extraordinary. Among her dazzling treasures, the colored diamond tiara stands out as a true masterpiece. Composed of various large diamonds in modern cuts and an array of captivating colors, this tiara is a testament to the opulence and grandeur of Brunei's royal family. But how did this magnificent tiara come into Queen Saleha's possession? The provenance of the colored diamond tiara remains shrouded in mystery, but it is why widely believed to have been acquired by Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah of Brunei, Queen Saleha's husband and the ruler of the wealthy Sultanate. Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah, known for his discerning taste and love for exquisite jewels, spared no expense in acquiring the most extraordinary pieces for his beloved Queen Saleha. The colored diamond tiara, with its unparalleled beauty and undeniable presence, was undoubtedly a fitting addition to her already impressive collection. Queen Saleha first graced the public eye with the colored diamond tiara during the Sultan of Brunei's Silver Jubilee celebrations in 1992. The tiara made a prominent appearance at the Grand Banquet held at the Istana Nurul Iman in Bandar Seri Begawan, the capital of Brunei. It was a sight to behold as the tiara's dazzling diamonds sparkled under the lights, capturing the attention of all who beheld it. The colored diamond tiara also had the honor of being featured in an official portrait of Queen Saleha. This portrait, a testament to her regal elegance and timeless beauty, showcased the tiara in all its glory. The intricate design and the mesmerizing combination of diamonds in various colors truly made it a masterpiece fit for a queen. While the colored diamond tiara is undoubtedly Queen Saleha's crowning jewel, it has only been loaned once to a family member. In 1996, it graced the head of Queen Saleha's elder daughter, Princess Rashida Saad Atul, on her wedding day. The tiara added an extra touch of splendor to the joyous occasion, symbolizing the enduring legacy of the royal family. The colored diamond tiara has also made appearances at several prestigious events. In 1998, Queen Saleha wore the tiara for a spectacular state banquet held in honor of the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh at the Istana Nurul Iman. The tiara's brilliance and elegance perfectly complemented the grandeur of the occasion leaving guests in awe of its magnificence. Two years later, the colored diamond tiara made a triumphant return, adorning Queen Saleha's head for the Sultan's annual birthday celebrations at the Istana Nurul Iman. The tiara's resplendent diamonds illuminated the festivities, adding an extra touch of glamour to the joyous occasion. It became a symbol of the Sultan's love and admiration for his beloved queen. The most recent appearance of the colored diamond tiara came in 2006, during the Sultan's 60th birthday celebrations at the Istana Nurul Iman. Queen Saleha radiated as ever wore the tiara with grace and elegance, captivating all who were fortunate enough to witness its splendor. Since then, Queen Saleha has acquired several new tiaras, but the colored diamond tiara remains a standout piece in her collection. In recent years, Queen Saleha has been seen wearing her emerald tiara and diamond heart tiara more frequently. However, the colored diamond tiara continues to hold a special place in her heart. Its sheer size, the stunning combination of diamonds in various colors, and the remarkable history behind it make it a truly unforgettable piece. One of Queen Saleha's preferred tiaras is the Emerald Tiara. This exquisite piece features a captivating arrangement of emeralds set in a delicate and intricate design. The tiara's vibrant green gems perfectly complement Queen Saleha's regal presence, and she often chooses to wear it for special occasions and state events. Another beloved tiara in Queen Saleha's collection is the Diamond Heart Tiara. This enchanting piece showcases a stunning heart-shaped diamond at its center, surrounded by a halo of smaller diamonds. The tiara's romantic and elegant design adds a touch of glamour to Queen Saleha's appearance, making it a favorite choice for formal events. Queen Saleha's tiara collection doesn't stop there. Over the years, she has acquired several new additions, each with its own unique charm and allure. From the dazzling diamond upright tiara to the captivating sapphire tiara, 
Queen Saleha's collection is a treasure trove of extraordinary jewels. Despite the allure of these other tiaras, Queen Saleha often finds herself gravitating towards her beloved emerald tiara and diamond heart tiara. These tiaras hold a special place in her heart, and she feels a deep connection to them. Their timeless elegance and exquisite craftsmanship perfectly reflect her own grace and poise. It's worth noting that Queen Saleha's tiara preferences may vary depending on the occasion. For more formal events and state banquets, she tends to opt for the grandeur of the emerald tiara or the diamond heart tiara. However, for more intimate gatherings or private functions, she may choose to wear a simpler yet equally stunning tiara from her collection. Queen Saleha's tiara choices are not only a reflection of her personal style, but also a testament to her role as a symbol of Brunei's royal family. Each tiara she wears carries with it a rich history and a sense of tradition, connecting her to the legacy of her ancestors and the grandeur of the Sultanate. Each piece in her collection tells a story of elegance, tradition and regal splendor. Queen Saleha's tiaras are not just exquisite jewels. They are symbols of her role as the world's longest-serving queen consort and her deep connection to the rich history of Brunei's royal family. Luxurious way of living Hassan al-Bolkiah, known as the 29th Sultan of Brunei, is not only the country's prime minister since gaining independence in 1984, but also holds the title of the richest man in Brunei, with an astounding net worth of Rs $20 billion. His extravagant lifestyle, characterized by opulent possessions and grandeur, is a testament to his immense wealth. However, the narrative of luxurious living extends beyond Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah to include Queen Saleha, creating a joint legacy of indulgence and magnificence. Embarking on a journey into to the regal lifestyle of Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah and Queen Saleha requires a detailed exploration, starting with their extravagant mode of transportation. The royal couple, known for their penchant for luxury, boasts a gold-plated private jet that stands as an emblem of their opulence. Purchased at a staggering cost of around $400 million, the Boeing 747 is adorned with accessories worth an additional $120 million, including lavish features like a gold wash basin, elevating the experience of flying to unparalleled luxury. However, the Sultan's affinity for lavishness extends beyond the skies to the streets, where he possesses an impressive collection of 7,000 luxury cars. This collection, estimated to be worth about Rs 341 billion, includes a remarkable 600 Rolls-Royce cars and 300 Ferraris. Notably, during the 1990s, the Bolkia family accounted for nearly half of all Rolls-Royce cars sold. A testament to their unparalleled love for luxury and extravagance, the Sultan's passion for fast cars often seen racing Ferraris late into the night in Brunei's capital, reflects his adventurous side amidst the lavishness that surrounds him. Moving beyond their transportation indulgences, the grandeur of Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah and Queen Saleha unfolds within the confines of Istana Nurul Iman, the world's largest palace. Commissioned in 1984 to commemorate Brunei's independence, this opulent residence sprawls over 2 million square feet, showcasing the Sultan's wealth and grandeur. The palace's dome is adorned with 22 carat gold, providing an exquisite touch to the architectural marvel. Upon entering Istana Nurul Iman, the luxurious lifestyle becomes apparent through its sheer scale. With over 1,700 rooms, 257 bathrooms and five swimming pools, the palace is a manifestation of extravagance. The 110 garages within the palace premises house the Sultan's extensive collection of luxury cars, meticulously maintained and ready for any royal occasion. However, the grandeur extends beyond the palace walls to the Sultan's private at Zoo a testament to his passion for wildlife and nature. Housing a diverse range of exotic animals, including 30 Bengal tigers, falcons, flamingos and cockatoos, the zoo is a captivating blend of luxury and biodiversity. These magnificent creatures are not mere exhibits, but are trained to entertain visitors with their remarkable skills, adding a unique dimension to the Sultan's opulent lifestyle. The private zoo serves as a personal sanctuary and entertainment hub, reflecting both the Sultan's and Queen Saleha's shared passion for wildlife. It stands as a testament to their desire to create a haven where nature seamlessly coexists with luxury, showcasing a joint commitment to preserving the finer things in life. In essence, the luxurious way of living of Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah and Queen Saleha is a shared legacy marked by unimaginable opulence. From their gold-plated private jet to the extensive collection of luxury cars, the world's largest palace and a private zoo, their joint indulgence in a life of extravagance creates a narrative that transcends individual wealth and underscores scores the royal couple's commitment to an unparalleled world of luxury. The Royal Wedding 
Recently, Prince Abdul Mateen and Anisha Rosner tied the knot in a display of unparalleled opulence. From lavish banquets to stunning jewels, this royal affair showcased the extravagant luxury that Brunei is renowned for. The festivities began on January 7th with a religious ceremony, marking the beginning of the wedding celebrations. The bride, Anisha Rosner, and the groom, Prince Abdul Mateen, stood before their families and esteemed guests as they exchanged vows and made their commitment to each other. The ceremony took place inside the magnificent gold domed Omar Ali Saifudian Mosque. The mosque, with its intricate architecture and breathtaking beauty, provided a serene backdrop for this sacred union. As the couple stood side by side, their love and devotion were palpable, radiating through the Grand Hall. The ceremony was conducted according to Islamic traditions, with prayers and blessings bestowed upon the newlyweds. Following the religious ceremony, the couple embarked on a procession through the streets of Bandar Seri Begawan, where thousands of well-wishers lined the streets, eager to catch a glimpse of the newlyweds. The air was filled with excitement and joy as the couple waved to the adoring crowd, their smiles shining brightly. The highlight of the wedding came on Sunday, with the bursanding or wedding reception held in the Grand Balai Singhasana in Dera Buana, the royal throne hall of the Sultan's palace. This majestic venue, adorned with opulent decorations, set the stage for an evening of regal splendor. As the doors of the throne hall opened, the guests were greeted by a sight that took their breath away. The hall was transformed into a fairy tale setting, with cascading floral arrangements, shimmering chandeliers, and an ambiance of pure enchantment. The atmosphere was electric, filled with anticipation for the arrival of the bride and groom. And then, the moment arrived. Prince Abdul Mateen, looking dashing in his black military uniform, entered the hall, followed by his radiant bride, Anisha Rosner. Anisha was a vision of beauty in her exquisite white gown, adorned with intricate lace and embellishments. Her diamond tiara sparkled atop her head, illuminating her every step. The couple took their place on the grand stage, surrounded by their families and esteemed guests. The room was filled with applause and admiration as everyone marveled at the sheer elegance and grace of the newlyweds. It was a moment frozen in time, a testament to the love and union of two souls. Throughout the evening, guests were treated to a sumptuous feast fit for royalty. The banquet table was adorned with an array of delectable delicacies, meticulously prepared to tantalize the taste buds. From traditional Bruneian dishes to international cuisines, every palate was catered to with the utmost care and attention to detail. As the guests indulged in the extravagant delights, the air was filled with laughter, conversation and the clinking of glasses. It was a celebration of love, unity and the coming together of two families. The joy and happiness radiated from every corner of the hall, creating an atmosphere of pure bliss. The evening was further enhanced by mesmerizing musical performances, captivating the audience with their melodic tunes. From traditional Bruneian music to contemporary melodies, the sounds filled the hall, creating an ambiance of enchantment and celebration. And so, the religious ceremony and the bazanding marked the beginning of this extraordinary 10-day celebration. It was a time of love, joy and extravagant luxury, showcasing the grandeur and opulence for which Brunei is renowned. As Anisha made her grand entrance into the royal throne hall, all eyes were drawn to the magnificent diamond tiara adorning her head. This bespoke design created by Singapore jeweler Flower Diamond was a true masterpiece. Worth a staggering 10 million pounds, it was a testament to the grandeur and luxury of Brunei's royal weddings. The tiara, crafted with meticulous attention to detail, featured 838 diamonds totaling 132 carats. Each diamond was carefully set in white gold, creating a mesmerizing display of brilliance. The design of the tiara held hidden symbolism, paying homage to Brunei's rich culture and heritage. The tiara's design incorporated ocean waves, symbolizing Brunei's location on the island of Borneo and its deep connection to the sea. It also featured a crescent representing the Islamic faith, which holds great significance in the lives of the people of Brunei. This fusion of cultural elements made the tiara a true reflection of the kingdom's identity. But the tiara was not the only remarkable piece of jewelry worn by Anisha. She also adorned herself with a stunning Riviere diamond necklace. This necklace, similar to the one worn by Princess Fadzilla for her 2022 wedding, added an extra touch of elegance to Anisha's ensemble. The Riviere necklace, featuring a continuous line of diamonds, exuded timeless beauty. Its delicate design and exquisite craftsmanship perfectly complemented Anisha's attire, enhancing her natural radiance. The necklace was a testament to the rich heritage of Brunei's royal family and the legacy of remarkable jewelry that has been passed down through generations. Anisha's bridal look was completely
completed by a diamond bouquet, a signature piece from the royal family's collection. The House of Bolkia, known for its extensive jewelry collection, has used this diamond bouquet for all brides in the extended family since the 1990s. It is a symbol of tradition and continuity connecting each generation of royal brides. The diamond bouquet, with its intricate design and sparkling diamonds, added a touch of glamour to Anisha's ensemble. As she held it in her hands, she carried with her the legacy of the royal family, a symbol of love, prosperity and the enduring bond between generations. The jewels worn by Anisha on her wedding day were not merely accessories, they were a reflection of Brunei's rich cultural heritage and the significance of the occasion. Each piece held deep symbolism connecting the past, present and future of the royal family and the nation. As we marvel at the breathtaking jewels worn by Anisha, we are reminded of the immense wealth and splendor of Brunei. These jewels not only adorned the bride but also served as a testament to the grandeur and luxury that surrounded this royal wedding. From the religious ceremony to the lavish banquets and the stunning jewels, this event was a true showcase of love, tradition and opulence. It was a celebration that showcased the rich traditions, customs and wealth of Brunei, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of all who witnessed it. How rich is the royal family of Brunei? Brunei, a nation recently under fire for implementing Sharia law, is home to the Sultan and his family, who are rumored to possess a fortune beyond comprehension. With a net worth of a staggering $20 billion, the Sultan alone stands as a symbol of unimaginable wealth. But the extravagance doesn't stop there. From a palace with 1,788 rooms and 257 bathrooms to a collection of over 2,300 cars, the royal family's indulgences know no bounds. In the realm of unimaginable wealth, few individuals individuals can rival the lavish lifestyle of Prince Jeffrey Bolkia, the brother of Sultan Hassan al Bolkia. Prince Jeffrey's outrageous spending habits and opulent existence have become the stuff of legends. Prepare to be astounded as we delve into the world of excess that Prince Jeffrey indulged in. One of the most astonishing aspects of Prince Jeffrey's extravagant life was his extensive car collection. While most people would be content with a single luxury vehicle, Prince Jeffrey took it to a whole new level. It is said that he owned more than 2,300 cars, a mind-boggling number that defies comprehension. These cars were not just ordinary vehicles, they were a symbol of his immense wealth and status. From sleek sports cars to vintage classics, Prince Jeffrey's collection was a sight to behold. But it wasn't just cars that captured Prince Jeffrey's attention, he also had a penchant for luxury yachts. One particular vessel stood out among the rest, a yacht named Tits. Yes, you heard that right. Prince Jeffrey owned a yacht called Tits, complete with tenders named Nipple 1 Inch and Nipple 2. The audacity and extravagance of such names only further emphasized the sheer opulence that Prince Jeffrey reveled in. While most people dream of owning a spacious home, Prince Jeffrey took it to an entirely different level. His brother, the Sultan, may have resided in a palace with 1,788 rooms, but Prince Jeffrey's abode was no less impressive. His residence boasted a staggering 110-car garage, an air-conditioned stable for his 200 polo ponies, and not one but five swimming pools. This was a home that epitomized luxury and excess in every sense. The tales of Prince Jeffrey's extravagant lifestyle don't there. He was known for his extravagant parties and events where no expense was spared. It is said that he regularly hosted grand gatherings, complete with lavish decorations, gourmet cuisine, and world-class entertainment. These events were a testament to his larger-than-life personality and his desire to live life to the fullest. But behind the glitz and glamour, there was a darker side to Prince Jeffrey's lifestyle. His spending habits were so excessive that they eventually led to legal battles and financial troubles. In the early 2000s, Prince Jeffrey faced allegations of misappropriating billions of dollars from Brunei's state funds. The scandal tarnished his reputation and led to a high-profile legal battle with the Sultan. The extravagant lifestyle that Prince Jeffrey had enjoyed for so long came crashing down, revealing the consequences of his excessive spending. While Prince Jeffrey Bolkia's extravagant lifestyle may have captured our attention, it is important to remember that he is just one member of the incredibly wealthy royal family of Brunei. The entire family is known for their indulgent way of life, where no expense is spared. In this section, we will explore the sensational and shocking facts that surround the royal family's opulence. One of the most remarkable aspects of the royal family's lifestyle is their entourage. When they travel, they do so in grand style, accompanied by a retinue of 150 people. This entourage ensures that their every need is catered to, from personal assistants to chefs, security personnel to stylists. Their presence adds to the aura of grandeur that surrounds the family wherever they go. But it's not just the entourage that sets the royal family of Brunei apart. 
They are known for their extravagant parties and celebrations where no detail is overlooked. It is said that they spare no expense when it comes to decorations, entertainment and cuisine. These events are a spectacle to behold, with the finest delicacies, world-class performers and breathtaking displays of luxury. The royal family's parties are the talk of the town, leaving guests in awe of the sheer opulence on display. One of the most astonishing anecdotes comes from the book The Organ Grinder's Monkey by Robert Rangel, who worked as security for the Sultan and his brother in Los Angeles. According to Rangel, the royal family even went so far as to pay Disney to have theme park characters flown to Brunei for a children's birthday party. This level of extravagance is beyond comprehension for most people, but for the royal family it is just another day in their extraordinary lives. Alcohol, which cannot be legally sold in Brunei, is a regular presence at the family's gatherings. Despite the restrictions imposed by Sharia law, the royal family indulges in the finest wines and spirits, ensuring that their parties are nothing short of extraordinary. The presence of alcohol adds to the air of exclusivity and luxury that surrounds their events. Mistresses are also a common sight in the royal family's lifestyle. While polygamy is accepted in Brunei, it is the royal family that takes it to another level. The Sultan himself has multiple wives, and it is rumored that his brothers and other family members also have their own entourage of mistresses. These relationships are part of the family's private life, indulged in with a collective wink from those around them. The stories of the royal family's extravagance seem almost too incredible to be true. But they are not just tales spun from imagination. They are based on real accounts and eyewitness testimonies. The lifestyle of the royal family of Brunei is a testament to their immense wealth and their desire to live life to the fullest. However, it is important to note that while the royal family enjoys a life of unparalleled luxury, the citizens of Brunei face a different reality. The implementation of Sharia law has curtailed the freedoms of both Muslims and non-Muslims within the country. The tales of the royal family's excess may shock and captivate us, but they also raise questions about equality and fairness. The wealth of the royal family of Brunei is truly sensational, but it is essential to consider the broader implications of such extreme riches. This was all from our side. Thank you for staying with us. If you enjoy our content, our newest videos are just a click away.